We will now explain the initialization and quality control of the CM200, produced by Hururo Electric Company. When the power is turned on, the LCD screen displays the initialization prompt. Turn the handle clockwise until the movable standoff meets the fixed standoff. Then, turn the handle counterclockwise to fully separate the standoffs. This completes the initialization process. Next, we will explain the quality control measurement. In order to ascertain whether the device is maintaining the desired quality levels, the quality control measurement must be conducted before daily use. Press Start key when the screen displays the message Perform Now. The QC Measurement Step 1 screen is displayed. If there is any acoustic gel on the standoffs, it may cause errors. Check the standoffs and wipe them clean if necessary. Turn the handle until the movable standoff meets the fixed standoff. Then allow the handle to turn one full rotation freely. Press Start key when the screen displays the message Next. The QC Measurement Step 2 screen is displayed. Next, separate the standoffs and apply a small amount of acoustic gel to one standoff. Turn the handle until the movable standoff meets the fixed standoff. Then allow the handle to turn one full rotation freely. Next, press Start key. When the measurement is completed, the QC Measurement Step 3 screen is displayed. Press Start key to save the data. Then press Cancel key to proceed to the measurement screen. This completes the quality control measurement. Please refer to the manual for troubleshooting errors or when operation does not proceed as expected. We will now explain the measurement procedure with the CM200, produced by Huruno Electric Company. First, input the patient's age. Select the patient's sex by pressing the male or female key. This completes the pre-measurement data input. We will now proceed to preparation for the actual measurement. Place the patient's foot on the foot plate. Set the patient's heel to the rear of the foot plate and measure the foot size in one centimeter increments. After measuring the foot size, take the patient's foot off the foot plate temporarily. Turn the foot size dial to adjust to the patient's foot size. Sizes are displayed in five steps on the screen. Select the correct size for the patient's foot size. To avoid damage to the unit, always take the patient's foot off the unit when turning the foot size dial. Wipe both sides of the patient's heel with alcohol swabs. The aim is to remove skin surface oils and allow clear ultrasound transmission. Please wipe the area carefully. However, only use antiseptic solutions to clean the standoffs and foot plate, as alcohol may damage them. Apply an ample amount of acoustic gel to the standoffs, taking care not to drop the gel onto the unit. Seat the patient, then place their foot on the foot plate. When placing the foot, be sure to press the inside of the patient's heel against the fixed standoff. Place the foot pointing straight on the foot plate. 
At this time, please be sure that the patient's lower leg and the foot plate are at a right angle. Turn the handle clockwise until the movable standoff meets the patient's heel. Turn the handle one full rotation from this point, allowing the handle to spin freely. To begin measurements, press the Start key. After approximately 10 seconds, the screen displays the measurement results and the result is printed. This completes the measurement process. After taking a measurement, wipe the acoustic gel from the standoffs. If any gel has dropped onto the unit, carefully wipe it clean.